it's actually really smart of you to say it that way because that is exactly the point of that program. So the point of that program was to get minorities paired up with uh, other minorities, by the way, who at that time were in med school. And so, you know, to get them to experience some of the things that they could go for, um, you know, in the future if they stuck with it. Um, and so so actually they had a part of bedside manner is culture. And so you have to. Um, kind of be aware of the culture of your patients and their families um, because that lends itself to whether or not they trust you. And so I, having come from the city, which is really diverse, right, we learn a lot about culture just by kind of by accident or kind of by by going through our lives in the city. But when you go to uh, more a hospital that is maybe in the suburbs or maybe in a rural area, um, you know, you kind of have to work with not just culture of the patients, but also with coworkers or other um, professionals and employees who don't necessarily understand certain elements of culture either. So yeah. you got to learn to work both ways. So most people will say, oh, you got to learn the culture of the patient. Well, first encountering a patient, like maybe even practicing their name a little bit before I go to say it. Um, and then if they correct me, like really, you know, paying attention and internalizing and registering what they're saying, even yeah. something like that is like big to build trust. And um, and that's just something that not everybody um I don't I'm trying to think of the best word. I don't know if they're not aware of that or, you know, if they're not for as far as advice goes. Um, yeah, I think I think my advice to my younger self would be never stop fighting um, because at, there was a point in time where, you know, I felt tired, um, you know, was studying and, um, you know, maybe another time we'll talk about a specific uh, episode. But. Um, there was a point where I was just like, oh, I'm so tired. I can't uh, uh, push through anymore. And I kind of temp young people, I would say, um, you know, when you get into some of these systems, especially academic systems where not everybody's rooting for you, um, yeah. you know, you could be going for months, years, you know, studying, struggling, working hard. Um, and there is temptation there to uh, give up, you know. Um, so for my, for my advice, the simple sentence is don't stop fighting. Like, um, there are people who might even.